Mojo 4 Industry presents Product Spotlight featuring Electrolyte at Elecrama 2025. Hi, uh, I'm Ankit Sabu from Electrolytes. I'm the executive director. So we are a 60-year-old company uh, started by my grandfather. We started off uh, as traders and uh, now we are into a host of other solutions. We started with manufacturing in 82 with the uh, disconnectors, which we are now manufacturing up to 400 kV and uh, 765 kV very soon. We are also manufacturing surge arresters, uh, both design A and design B up to class 4, up to 400 kV. And again, uh, we are also venturing out into transmission line arresters, DC arresters and uh, even arresters up to 765 kV. Apart from our own manufacturing, uh, we have a position in the industry of being a solution provider. So that has led us to bring in a lot of technologies from all over the world. Uh, Portugal, Germany, Finland, Israel and many others. Here at Lekrama, we are showcasing all of our manufacturing, our other products and other technologies. So I will have the rest of my team tell you about them and uh, take you through the entire journey. My name is Shashi Kumar Vasudevan Pillai. India has gone through a, a lot of change as far as the arresters are concerned. We went through a change from porcelain to polymer and today we are looking at standard transmission line arresters also which is the future of any transmission line requirement. Every, every electricity or every utility would ask why is a surge arrestor failing? Well, surge arresters are expected to fail to ensure that it saves the connected equipment. And you are supposed to replace the surge arrestor when it fails. We used to have a non fail or non correct failures earlier because you used to have an arrestor built within a porcelain housing. Now the porcelain housing, if there is a leakage, will take in water or moisture and when it expands due to a fault occurring, the porcelain shatters, which flies in all directions like a bullet and it uh, will penetrate anything what is in its way. Today we have arresters which are polymer housed where this total feature is totally uh, deleted or removed, I should say, from the design. And you have a very safe arrestor, which gives you a safe environment to work on. Also, when you look at uh, a, a polymer arrestor, which is supposed to be for a transmission line, the biggest advantage you get is you don't get the weight of the porcelain coming onto the line. Well, polymeric uh, housing being lightweight almost reduces the total weight by half. It is fully type tested equipment as per IEEE, IEC and they perform the functions 100% without giving any trouble to you and drawing out the surge voltages to the ground thereby ensuring your system remains uh, in shape and without any uh, disruption system. So this is the fault passage indicator. It functions, uh, it's also very important uh, function in the power network, specifically in the distribution sector. So in a lot of installations, there are all kinds of faults that keep happening. Because of that, there is a power loss or for either the utilities or even the power consumers. This particular product helps you identify the exact location of the fault. And I'll tell you how it works. So these three indicators, they are called the fault indicators. So they are installed on each of the phase. They are battery powered, uh, life up to 10 years. And the moment there is a short circuit fault or an earth fault that it senses through it, it blinks an LED and it sends a message to the control room. Through RF communication, this sends a message onto the control box. Inside the control box, in the modem, we can have a SIM card or a LAN connection or a Modbus connection. In either of these ways, uh, through IEC 101 or 104, this can send the same information and the same data to the control room telling it where the fault is, uh, what magnitude of fault it is, and what type of fault it is. This helps identify the utility or the power consumers to know the exact location of the fault. 
Usually it takes about 3 to 4 hours or even up to 10 hours given the kind of terrain you are at and the kind of time the fault occurs to identify the fault. This particular product helps reduce that time to just 10 seconds. My name is Christoph Drisha, I'm the representative of Drisha Germany and I'm very happy to be here to uh, present our new products here for the railway business uh, and together with Electrolytes here on the booth. We are in Germany and in the Czech Republic. Since 1909, we are active in the business for low voltage and medium voltage um, switches and switch gear. And also now since 1972 in the railway business. And the product we are showing here is one of the most modern products you can have for public transportation for um, Delhi Metro is using it, uh, Mumbai Metro and many others. And it's very reliable and uh, it's, if it's about availability and reliability, it's one of the best products you can have or can use for the public transportation. It's a so-called vacuum low brake switch. So we're using a vacuum tube and having the advantages of a low brake switch. It's a single phase system now for 25 kV 2000 amps and it's used more or less worldwide from Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Europe, but also in the Middle East, in New Zealand, in Australia, and hopefully also in higher quantities now in India. So good morning, my name is Alvin Jose and I'm a senior business development manager at uh, Noja Power. We are an Australian switchgear manufacturer specialized in building auto reclosing circuit breakers. And uh, we also recently launched a new product. It's known as the Echo Link. Uh, it's a replacement for a fuse. It's a replacement. It's a smart fuse. Uh, so the product what we have over here, uh, it's it's uh, rated for 11 kV. Uh, it's right now being installed in uh, Tata Power in Orissa, Tata Power in Delhi, uh, in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, it uses a vacuum interrupter and a solid dielectric insulation. We also have a controller, which is quite modular in design. A battery, a SIM module. We got a relay unit uh, and a power supply module. It's quite safe to use. No, no risk of electrocution. The purpose of the product is like to protect, to protect your distribution network from uh, outages. So if you have transient faults, the device will do an auto reclose operation and you'll try to clear off the fault. If it's a permanent fault, then it goes to your lockout. Then the operator just needs to go to the field and to clear off the field to do clear off the fault asset. Hello everyone, I'm Klaus at SafeGrid. At SafeGrid, we provide a system for TSOs and DSOs to reduce capital expenditure and improve safety and safe fit. We do this by firstly preventing or predicting faults failing assets in the grid to avoid outages completely. And the other feature is that we are able to accurately and fast detect fault locations and classify them for our excellence of operation. Uh, here in India, we work with uh, Electrolytes as our local partner. Please be in touch with Electrolytes if you have further questions. Thank you very much.